So my agent called me, Jeff. Jeff from ICM called me about it. Like Warner Brothers is uh, doing more combat. Hey, they wanted you to play Sub Zero. I was like, say it again, Sub Zero. Are you sure? Yeah. And uh, is this an audition or something, or they want me to tape something? No, they want you to play Sub Zero. And I, it was, I was, it was like unreal. It was unreal feeling for me. I remember I, I, I asked my son about it, and then I just shouted from my bedroom, and my son was in the living room. Said, "Hey." Hero, my son names Hero. And they, if I'm in a Mortal Kombat movie, which character do you think fits me the most? They were like, you? You? You're Sub-Zero. I was like, no way. And then this is meant to be. This is meant to be. And then it, it was crazy. It was crazy. And one phone call and I got the support from my son. And then I grew up playing Sub-Zero. It was, it was crazy. It was one of the highlights of my life, I got to say. So when you yeah. play the video game, you were always like playing as Sub Zero. That was your go-to character. I grew up play. Uh, I I played Sub Zero, Scorpion, and Kung Lao. But my favorite character is always Sub Zero because it's kind of like my friend always said, like, "Oh, this is this character is too overpowered." You know, because you just you know. I remember when I was a kid because the only the, the biggest damage is you just you do the uppercut. So you freeze the opponent first, and then you just walk slowly to them, like nothing happened, and then you think, boom, and all the blood spilled, and then like quarter of the the the, the health is just gone. So you you do three times uppercut after you freeze the opponent, you can like win the game. So it's it's very it's very OP. The gamer like to say it, OP. So what do you think of your fatality moves in the movie? Well, um, first time I watched the movie when we during the reshoot because we need to watch it again after you know we finished 2019, so we came back to Australia to October 2020. I don't know, and it was I was almost I, I can't say anything. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, this is so good. And then everybody, everybody did ama did an amazing job, and then all the fight story and the final fights. You know the forest fight in the beginning. To be honest, when you, when I when I was on set working, I didn't really think about how it's gonna turn out. I just focused like, you know, you know, focus on the job. Focus right. like I need I need to make sure that everything is right. So I'm a quite I'm quite perfectionist. So I don't want to get distracted to see. I didn't even I really checked the the monitor to be honest because I trust the action director and everybody there. So when I watch it for the first time. It was it was it was crazy. It was crazy feeling to see that that I have high hope. Like the feeling that I have, like I hope when people see it the first time on the big screen or on HBO Max, they feel the same. It feels like there's so much happiness, so much proud, and then you know it's just unreal. What was it like when you first put on like the full Sub Zero look, and then you stepped on set and like saw yourself for the first time? Like what was that moment like? Well, I remember the first fitting, it looked super awesome. I took a picture a lot and there's like a selfie here and there. And, but I couldn't walk. Is it like <laughs> because it was, it was so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was like, this, is, this looks really, really cool. And I tried to walk, how am I going to be able to fight? <laughs> because all battle here and there. And I think almost like seven to 10 kilos in total. And then, Happy, Cappy, our, our custom designer, she said, like, don't worry, we, we have this version, like the original one, and we have another version. It's like not that heavy, and then you can fight. I was like, whew. So because I was I was worried, like, how, how am I going to be able to fight in this costume because there's all armor here and there. So, yeah, it's very thoughtful from the uh, costume division that they, they think about it like way before. And then, then the, the, the five costumes still are heavy, but it's doable. It's still doable. Right. Like, how am I going to yeah. kick? <laughs> um, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> well, there's, there's a lot of really great source material for, for these characters, not limited to the 1995 movie, which holds a very special place in a lot of people's hearts. Uh, what are your thoughts on that movie? And what do you think the biggest difference is between what we've seen before and what we're seeing now? Well, when I watch the original one, I mean the first one, 
I was like, it was super fun because I grew up playing the game. When you see all the characters you played in the game, like on a big screen, I had so much fun. I, I, I loved the movie. It is, it is great. It is great to see all the fa favorite characters you see now, like, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a what do you call it? Like kind of alive. Mm -hmm. But the difference, the different compared to this one, probably because technology, of course, obviously way different. We can do more, we can stretch more and give more. But I think in this one, what the writer did, the director or the creative did, which I think is, is, is very sweet and, and great to the fans because they, they trace back to what, when they were, when they're not, when, when they didn't have the superpower. Like right. the story of a Sub-Zero and Scorpion, when they're not the Scorpion and Sub-Zero. And all, most of the character Jacks, like what is arm, how they get the powers that what, what the gamers, you know, played in the game. So that journey, it's, that's the different compared to the original one. Because the original is all about fun. It's, it's just like to see your, your favorite characters alive. But in this one, you see more, you see more arc, you see more story. You see, you follow the journey of each character, your favorite character. So I think it's just something like that in the movie is always leave more uh, memory, leave more uh, great, yeah, great, great nostalgia, great nostalgia at the same time. But you, you, you invest and you feel the character more. And then you 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 see Sub Zero. Let's say for an example, Sub Zero, not just a badass who control ice, but you see you know who he was before, and then the journey, and you see what happened to Scorpion. So this type of approach is always always give more uh, impressions to the fans and to moviegoers in general. Yeah, I think that's cool. the difference. Um, well, I am out of time, but I absolutely cannot wait to see more. You're fantastic. This movie's so much fun, and I'm so excited for everyone. Thank to you. See it. Thank you, Ashley. Thanks so much. Have a good one.